Hi everyone, I'm Warren and welcome to Creator Roundup. If you want more information about what we cover, check out the description. Let's get started. We've heard feedback from streamers that it was annoying to have to go back to YouTube Studio to manage important tasks like editing tags or updating monetization settings before streaming. So we've been working to bring some of these tools from Studio directly into your stream dashboard in the live control room. You'll see all of these settings under edit in the top right of your stream dashboard. We've also brought all of the settings that were under the gear icon in the top right hand corner of the page under the edit button as well. Now you'll have all the settings you need to stream in one place and won't need to switch between the live control room and YouTube studio before you go live. Happy streaming. We're rolling out a new profile card on iOS to help you and your viewers learn more about the people commenting on your videos. To see the card, tap on someone's profile picture next to someone's comment on a video's watch page. On it, you'll see info like the person's channel name, how many subs they have, other recent comments they've posted on your videos, what other channels they're subscribed to, and more. This month, we're taking another step in our efforts to curb hate and harassment on YouTube. We're removing more conspiracy theory content that's used to justify real-world violence. One example is content that threatens or harasses someone by suggesting they're complicit in a harmful conspiracy. As always, context matters. So news coverage on these issues or content discussing them without targeting individuals or protected groups may stay up. We began enforcing this policy this month. So check out the blog post link below for more info. To make it easier to upload content on mobile, we've moved the create button from the top right corner of the YouTube mobile app to the very center of the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. The functionality of the create button is totally the same. Just tap and choose whether you want to upload a video or go live. You'll also notice that the subscriptions and the notifications icons have also moved, but the functionality for those remains exactly the same too. To make it easier for you to customize the homepage layout, branding, and basic info of your channel, we've moved all of these tools into one page in YouTube Studio. You can find the new customization page on the left-hand side of Studio. The page has three channel customization tabs, layout, branding, and basic info. If you want more detailed instructions on customizing your channel based on the details we just shared, check out the video or help center linked in our description. And that's it for this roundup. Thanks for watching. Bye. What? I like it. I love it. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.